Hi everyone and welcome to week four. In week four we're going to be looking at chapters seven through ten and discussion board number three. For this week we're going to be looking at the role of firms and the market structures. We're going to be looking at three different market structures and how they make pricing decisions. You'll notice that there's many different problems that we're facing. Firms will have to figure out how to maximize their profit and how to maximize their total revenue. Two big decisions. And they'll have to figure out where should they consume at. When we look in at pricing power for chapter, oh, let me go to chapter eight here. When we look at competitive firms, we're going to be looking at perfect competition. Perfect competition is characterized by a large number of buyers and sellers selling identical products and Firms in the market will be classified as price takers. Price takers means that they have to take the market price that's established in the market. That's a key area that you need to evaluate in your analysis. When we look at the short run, monopolistically competitive firms can do three things. I'm sorry, perfectly competitive firms can do three things. They can earn a profit. They can operate at a loss or they can break even. The problem is, given the high bar the low barriers to entry and exit in the market, if firms are able to make a profit or earn a loss, you'll notice that firms will enter the market and they'll take advantage of either the profit or a loss. Now in Chapter 9, we're going to be looking at monopolies. Monopolies are characterized as firms with they're the sole supplier of a good or service, selling very similar products with no competition. Governments regulate the amount of competition that's present in a, mono that's present in a monopoly. Instead of being a price taker, monopolies are classified as price makers. And in the last chapter, we're going to be looking at price discrimination. And price discrimination is a legal form of pricing where firms are able to charge So when we look at pricing discrimination, you'll notice that firms will try to take advantage of this to figure out the best price to charge in the market. There's a couple different types of price discrimination. So how can we charge different buyers different prices for the same good? One example of price discrimination is looking at, look at movie theaters. You notice that some students will get a cheaper price than adults. Another example are toll roads. And uh, if you have, for example, a sum pass in Florida, or if you're, um, uh, if you have a, di a different state pass, you could get a different price compared to someone that pays cash. So price discrimination is a way to get people to pay more for their typical goods and services. So for this week, let's look at the discussion form and what you're focused on. You're going to be looking at a perfectly competitive firm that you've recently bought. You're going to tell me the, the firm that you bought it from and relate your answer to at least three of the market characteristics. Why are these firms classified as a price taker and why are they not able to raise prices in the market? In your form or in your work, make sure to have your initial post by Thursday with an APA formatted in-text citation and reference. And make sure to have two peer responses by Saturday night, which can be to any of the questions I post or to your peers. But I look forward to your response.